YouTube viewers, Rectangular back with another haul video. This time we have something I picked up at my local thrift store today. I typically try to go there once or twice a week and hit their little toy aisles and um, look for anything I can use for ACBA, props, vehicles. Uh, I've only run into loose Marvel Legends a couple times and they were uh, I think I've s three, I've only seen three figures there um, two of them were movie figures and one was that uh, really lousy um, black suited Wolverine with a really scraggly looking face, real skinny sc scrawny looking Wolverine that's the only uh, loose Marvel Legend um, besides movie figures I've seen there um, but uh, yeah I found this huge uh, rock sculpture uh, rock playset piece and um, it was only 99 cents and it's really cool because it comes in two pieces so if you only want um, a small base um, you can uh, remove the top and um, you essentially have uh, two rocks and you know it's hollow underneath <coughs> let's see there I have no idea what it's from you can see the 99 cents written in there um, don't even see a stamp manufacturer saying what company made the thing but uh, very cool and I can always um, fill that in with a uh, epoxy sculpt if I don't want to worry about having it in two pieces so just to give you an idea of the scale got the uh, extremis Iron Man there Put a little bit more light on him so the thing is probably I don't know eight or nine inches deep so um, it's probably around ten inches tall just because um, he's about that yeah, about six inches from the back so that's how wide it is so pretty damn cool I cannot beat that for 99 cents for anything. <laughs> I mean, if you were to buy something like this on eBay, you're probably talking, you know, six, seven dollars to ship it. So, yeah, pretty damn happy with that score. Alright, let's go ahead and move on to the next item. Next up from Japan, we have this Gatling gun which is made by a company called Kotobukiya I believe that's how you pronounce that um, it has an acronym MSG stands for Modeling Support Goods and my friend uh, Darius Prince turned me on to this Gatling gun set he got this one and a couple of other um, similar kits I can't remember what they were. Uh, I know one was a Gatling gun, and I think there was one was like a um, like a cannon, and I think another one might have been like a belt-fed machine gun. Um, I got this from a online site, Hobby Link Japan. I think it cost just over twenty dollars with shipping. I think maybe twenty three dollars with shipping I can't even remember it was around the twenty dollar mark and um, yeah I think you can find it on eBay for probably a few dollars more um, from either ch Chinese or Japanese uh, resellers and um, it is a kit so you have to assemble it let's see if I can show the back it's got the instructions on how to put it together. 
doesn't look all that complicated. I think it just snaps together. I don't think you need any glue. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it together and let's take a look at it. So here we have the Ares Wave crossbones holding the fully assembled gun. And I'm very happy. I think it looks great with this figure. It is a little bit difficult for him to hold just because of the way his hands are sculpted. Um, because he doesn't have a, um, what's it called, a hinge at the wrist. You can't really get him to hold the handle properly. Um, but you can fudge it. And it does look pretty damn good. One thing that's nice is that this is a pretty lightweight uh, kit, so um, he doesn't, uh, doesn't want to topple over nearly as bad as uh, with my 3A figure, the weapon that came with that. This guy here, if he's seen from my previous haul video, using this uh, chain gun for my 3A figure and it's a much heavier gun it's you know obviously got awesome paint on it but I think once I paint the uh, the model um, version on the left it's gonna look just as badass as this one does um, only thing makes this one look more intimidating is the uh, the chain gun or the uh, the ammo belt hanging off the side where this one's got a uh, a can for the ammunition, but uh, it's got more barrels. I think I think they're both pretty badass. So let me know what you guys think. It well first before I go, let me show that uh, ridiculous uh, Sigma Six gun that came with the uh, Thunderbolts box set crossbones. This thing is just uh, ridiculous if you ask me. It's way too big. It doesn't, they're just so cartoonish looking. Um, it's, you know, it's bigger than the damn figure. Look at that thing. It's just, it's just ridiculous. And it's so heavy that uh, the figure can barely um, stand up with it. You know, the, these Sigma-6 figures that this thing was made for are um, like 9 or 10 inches tall, so, you know, this is like a 7-inch figure, so, um, it's just not, <laughs> it's just not made to hold this thing, plus it just, it just looks ridiculous, it just looks like a kid's toy, where I think these, these two look uh, pretty badass. All right. So let me know what you guys think, and uh, let's go ahead and move on. See, this thing's heavy. It does. It wants to fall over. There. One thing I forgot to show on this Gatling gun is the little rotation firing action that it has. It's got a little motor, uh, wind-up motor, that you can uh, wind up to have the gun fire. Just crank it up here. She winds quite a bit. It took about half an hour to put this thing together. It's got quite a bit of parts that you have to cut off the uh, frames. I'm not going to wind it up all the way, but that's almost all the way. Hopefully it's not going to drop it. So, might be cool in an ACBA video. Show him firing it. And let's get a closer look. The handle is pretty tiny for his gigantic hands. But uh, that's what it looks like up close. It's got quite a bit of uh, sculpt detail. And probably end up 
carving out some of the holes a little bit more so I can stick effects pieces in there a little better. They're not recessed that far. It's kind of a little handle for the, uh, oh, and you can uh, switch, switch out the um, ammo can onto the other side if you want to have him hold it uh, left-handed. There you go, just snaps right on. So, very, very nice. This lever only moves a little bit back and forth. So, yeah, I'll probably end up trying to beef up this handle a little bit so he can hold it a bit better. Very cool. Very happy with that purchase. All right. Now we can move on to the next item. Next up, we've got a pair of head casts. I did not make these. I got them from a seller on eBay. And any guess who these guys are supposed to be? Well, it's pretty obvious if you're a Marvel fan, this would be Deadpool, aka the Merc with the Mouth. And if you had seen in my previous haul video, I got that loose Series 6 Deadpool from Juan Lacaros at the San Jose Toy Show and he did not come with the spare head, the unmasked head. So I got this unmasked head um, to go with that and um, still waiting to get uh, the other um, loose Series 6 Deadpool from a gentleman on Facebook and uh, hasn't showed up yet so I'm crossing my fingers that it will arrive soon and um, this is a head cast of the I believe the Bowen Bowen or Bowden I think it's Bowden uh, statue which is um, quite expensive I think it's like a uh, it's either 12 or 16 or 18 inch uh, statue um, and uh, of course my camera is not going to focus, there's too much gray, but uh, very cool. Um, I like both. The the figure I'm getting is supposed to have the original um, head like this um, from the factory. So this one's going to go with the one that um, that's missing the head. I'm going to re I'm going to paint it and. Um, this one I have to uh, uh, trim down the neck and paint it as well and this is going to go with uh, um, the one I'm waiting for so that I will have both a smiling version and just this kind of uh, blank stare uh, Deadpool as well so I'm not a huge fan of the character, it's just um, nice to have multiple versions for different ACBA setups. Alright, so enough about these heads, let's go ahead and move on to the next item. Last but not least, from Toy Biz we have the Face Off Sabretooth. I believe this is the first appearance of Sabretooth, it comes with the first appearance of Wolverine. And they had two different versions of these sets. They had the uh, angry Wolverine with the angry Sabretooth and then we had the stoic Sabretooth with the stoic Wolverine. And I really liked the sculpt of this figure. Uh, especially after seeing the new Sabretooth that's coming out um, in the next wave of Return of Marvel Legends, the Wolverine wave, with the Wolverine, Sabretooth, Emma Frost, and Cyclops. Uh, that's with the, uh, the Puck Build-A-Figure wave. Um, really don't like that, uh, that mold um, that they're using for 
that saber tooth with the Hyperion uh, body mold. Um, this is the Luke Cage that uh, that Hyperion, same Hyperion body mold that the new uh, saber tooth is uh, going to be based on. Oops, sorry about that. So, yeah, pretty similar in size. I think it's going to be maybe a tad taller. Um, it's just kind of, I don't really like the, the boots are just a little too puffy on that new, um, that new saber tooth. And it just, it's very plain. Like there's no details to the costume whatsoever. It's all paint, all the costume details are painted on. Um, I really like all the sculpt detail on this one. So let's show that. Um, really like the uh, the legs and the arms, all that uh, fur and around his neck. Um, I like the face. It's uh, just got some really nice uh, sculpt detail. Um, this one I got off of eBay for 24 shipped and it's in pretty decent condition. Uh, it's got a few loose joints. The waist is really loose. Um, this uh, wrist joint is loose. Um, the rotation is okay. It's just the... Uh, this one's a little bit on the loose side. The legs are pretty decent. Uh, I do have the Series 6 Sabretooth, which is uh, my favorite, and I'll show that one in comparison in a second. And this one, uh, they did warn me, the seller did warn me that there's some res, they said residue on the bottom of his feet. I think it's actually glue. I think they had him glued onto a base of some kind. Um, so I'm going to try to get that off with some hot water and, and maybe salt. Um, I don't know what else might work. If you guys have any suggestions about what might eat the glue and not the paint, um, I would love to hear back from you on that. Um, otherwise, really good condition. Um, it's not a whole lot of, there's no paint shading on the figure. Um, doesn't, I think maybe in the fur just a little bit. And that's about it. But uh, I like the uh, finger articulation. It's got uh, individual finger articulation, very similar to the Series 6. This one seems to be stuck on this hand, so I don't really want to force it too much. Um, but just a great sculpt. I don't like the how the new one is, you know, it's. Uh, you know, with the toy with Toy Biz figures, you always got um, a lot more articulation than the current Marvel Legends. You know, they usually had uh, finger articulation, and um, although we do have, we do are getting ankle pivot, which is nice. And both these figures have this. And I'm not a huge fan of Sabretooth per se. I, I guess he is my favorite uh, enemy of. Wolverine. I am a huge Wolverine fan. So I wanted to get a Sabretooth that, uh, especially after seeing um, Dominic's review, uh, advocate of the new um, new Sabretooth and citing that I definitely didn't want him. I mean, I pretty much knew from the first pictures that I didn't want the new Sabretooth. Um, the head sculpt is okay, but I just don't like anything else about the, the figure. Um, I wanted to get one that's uh, got a more stoic face expression like this one because um, you know he's not always going to be in a have an angry face so realizing that now with uh, ACBA is you know a lot of so much of ACBA has to do with the mood that you're setting and um, and you can't have a an angry face expression on your figure if you know he's just standing there having a meeting with uh, Magneto and other members of the uh, evil the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants so that basically gives you a scale of um, 
where this guy stands. He is, his knees are a little bit bent, so he's actually close to the height of the new saber tooth. And I'll put him next to the Red Hulk Wave Wolverine that I just got recently, which is very similar to the first appearance Wolverine in as far as costume goes. So there you go. Yeah, very, very happy. I mean, I probably paid a couple more dollars than I should have, considering the condition that this guy is in. But uh, I think more, more people are going to want this um, figure once they're they see how uh, disappointing the um, the new saber tooth is. Um, you know, I guess it is a more accurate costume for the modern version of the character but I'm not really a fan of the modern um, Marvel Universe I'm more uh, more into the classic characters um, the 60s 70s and early 80s definitely so anyway hopefully you guys liked the video and that you hit the like button share with your friends if you haven't already please subscribe and I would love to hear back from you so please leave a comment below thanks so much for watching guys and I will talk to you later